So the first thing to do with question three is to actually read the question. And back to when we read the question, what do we find out about question three? On the textbook. Yeah, if we're reading question three from the textbook, what do we what do we find out? There's a quite new rules. No, I'll read the question properly. You got it. Which one are we going? There's like 3D, but just read the whole question. It is about similar triangles, but what specifically about them? There's nothing to read. Yes. Oh, it's like weird. Find the Find the prime numeral for the following similar triangles, correct? Yeah. So what does that tell you? That they're similar. So do we need to prove they're similar? No. We don't need to prove these triangles are similar. We know that this side here is 24. We know that this side here is 8 centimetres. We know that this side here is 5 centimetres. We don't know this side. We don't know this side. And we know this side here is 12, I think, is it? A and B the other way around. A and B that way around. That's 12. So because I know they're similar, I don't need to prove them. You just put it in the same place. You just put it in the same place. Yeah, you rub it out. I can call it whatever I like, but anyway. What I know here is that which side corresponds with which in the triangle. So which side is the same or represents the same side in the similar triangle. So does 24 have a, have a similar side? Yes. Which is what? 8. So these two are similar. So I should start with 24 over 8 equals. Does 5 have a corresponding side? B. So that, I mean, which, which one is in the, the triangle 24? B. B. So I should put B on the top like I put 24. So that would be B over 5. Now I could write an equation for A, but I'm not going to. That will come later. If I was going to do that, I'll do it in red, but if I was going to do that, just so we finish off this, that would equal what? 12 over? Now the reason I'm not going to do it now is because I just want to deal with one variable at a time. I don't want to have two variables. So I'm allowed to get rid of this, correct? Yeah. What's that look like? How many unknowns do I have? One. When I want to know something about an unknown, what should I do? Get it by itself. So I ask myself, what's stopping the B from being by itself? What do you reckon, Susanna? What's stopping the B from being by itself? The five. How do I undo the five? Times both sides by five, correct? Because the five is dividing, I multiply both sides by five to get rid of it. What happens to the fives on the right hand side? Thanks, Pat. These two. They do cancel each other out. I'm left with B equals 24 times 5, which is 120 divided by 8, which is 60 over 4, which is 15. I'm pretty sure. Is that right? Possibly. I could also say that 24 over 8 is. 3, 3 times 5 is 15, that's probably the easier way to do it. I'm half, I'm halfway through my question, correct? Now I just need to write the other value. I can write 24 over 8 equals what? I want to write here, 10 to 10, what to write?
because I'm a millennial and I need to be told exactly what to do, when to do it, so I can be successful. So, I'm going to start with, we'll do question N. Start with the diagram. So I've got two triangles like that. What's that side turn? 16. This side? 18. This side? This side? 38.4. This side? Okay, they're the same. Cool. These triangles are similar. So what do I already know about B without actually needing to do any work? What is B? If, if these two sides are the same, what can you tell about these two sides? They'll be the same too. Is it okay for me just to write B is equal to 18? No. I need to prove that. But that's easy enough. I should also write this as A as well. Now, so I was going to write anything without being told. So Nick, tell me what I should do first of all. Um, I reckon you should do some writing. Yep, which is? What, what should I write first? Yeah. 